Yo, what is up my friends, Ron here and welcome back to the channel. In this week's video on GoPro tips, it will be a really short yet very impactful one because I will be walking you through a step-by-step -step process to create your own capture preset. And at the end of the video, I will also be sharing with you two user interface tips that you never knew existed on your GoPro. For this example, I'll be demonstrating how to create a capture preset to capture the awesome night sky. So feel free to take out your GoPro camera and follow along. Without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, <laughs> now that I'm in the GoPro camera, let's get started by selecting the mode that we want to create our capture preset. So I am going to be swiping right into the time-lapse mode. Next, I'm going to tap that settings panel at the bottom and this will display the existing presets that I have on my GoPro. Um, I can either tap that pencil icon to edit a particular preset, but for today's video, I am going to be showing you how to create a new preset. So let's go ahead to press that plus icon at the bottom. Because I intend to capture stars at night, I am going to be scrolling down to the night lapse mode. Once you are in this settings menu, it is pretty much straightforward. So go ahead to follow what I have on screen. First of all, I'm changing my resolution to 4K 4x3 aspect ratio. My shutter speed to 30 seconds. As for the rest, I'm going to be leaving it as such. For Protune settings, my bit rate to high, white balance to native, ISO max to 1600, sharpness to low, and leave it as GoPro color. Finally, for my shortcuts, lower left to white balance, lower right shortcut to ISO max, upper left to interval, and upper right to shutter speed. And once I'm happy with these settings, I am gonna hit the tick on the top right hand corner. Finally, this allows me to name my preset in which this case, let's name it Air. And go ahead to hit the tick on the top right again. And congratulations, my friends. You have created an awesome preset to capture the night sky. Now that you know how to create your own preset, I am gonna be showing you two amazing user interface tips to make your workflow so much more efficient. The first tip is a really quick way to customize the four shortcuts that you have on screen without having to open the settings panel. All you gotta do is to tap and hold on to the shortcut that you intend to change. For this example, I am gonna be tapping the upper left shortcut. And it will bring up this shortcut menu. Uh, where you can then select your new shortcut. I am going to go for digital lens. And that's it. <laughs> very, very simple. The next tip is pretty similar to the first one. By tapping and holding on to the settings panel, it immediately opens up the settings to the particular preset you are in, saving you a ton of time, especially when you are on the move. Pretty cool, huh? And that's it for this week's video, my friends. As always, if you have any questions or topics that you want me to share about, please do not hesitate to drop them into the comments. Until then, I will see you in the next upload. Bye!